What's up, guys? So, man, I got a couple bad fills this morning, but we still ended up with 3,200. I wanted to show you guys how this thing panned out. Let me show you guys really quick. Okay, so as you can see, the bell's about to ring. Now, I already established my lines where it's going to come into some issues. So, I know go time is also an issue. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an early start at the nine dollar mark and try to sell right around the 942 mark now watch how this plays out because i got a couple bad fills and i want you to see how i kind of um played those things off right okay so watch this so i'm looking to jump in right there as you can see i'm looking for the push up at that nine dollar mark boom i hit my hotkeys i got a bad fill I got a bad fill let me let me um let me rewind this so you can see this again. I got to do it a little bit slower. Okay, watch this. Boom. You see this? You see this order sitting right there? It did not get filled. And then I ended up hitting the hotkeys again, getting a bad fill. But um, I had a feeling that if it maybe come back down, it would pick this up and then it would give me a better average because it gave me, you know, a fill way up here. And I kind of wanted this to get triggered um i didn't want eight thousand shares but because this didn't get filled i figured okay let it sit there if it comes down a little bit it'll trigger it and then i'll get a better fill and then as soon as it pops up then i could sell and i'll make a little bit more anyways okay so watch this see i got that bad fill well i didn't get filled and then so i hit the hotkeys again to try to get a better fill and I knew this thing was already strong, so I wasn't really worried about this little dip here. Um, I just have to give it a chance to do what it's supposed to do. So that's why I hung on to it. Now I'm waiting for that push. Here we go. We're in the green because my average is kind of right here at the $9 mark. Because if you take these two, it's right in between the $9 mark. Okay, so now I'm in the green. I'm waiting for that push. I know there's some resistance here and there. So, boom. I'm I'm trying to sell right there. Boom, it sold. I don't know why I was kind of hesitating, but you can see, boom, I sold right there, which is the problem area, and it went exactly to that problem area. And typically, I take a screenshot, and then I save that so I can post on Facebook. Okay, so I took a screenshot. So now I'm waiting for the pullback. This is a pullback, so now I'm waiting for it to explode again so i could jump in above this area above this area you can see i'm pointing it out right there in the video above this area is where i'm waiting to jump in now watch this i'm gonna get another bad fill a very bad fill and so <laughs> that one kind of put me like at suspense because i thought i was gonna kind of lose some money today but watch 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 this i'm waiting for it to get to that 950 area above this candle i'm waiting for it to hit that 950 area so i can jump in to try to make new highs and watch watch what happens i got an extremely bad fill watch this watch this it's gonna pop up and watch watch now this candle is closing out now watch this i'm waiting for it to pop above here so i can hit the hotkeys Watch what happened. I got extremely bad fill. I'm still waiting for it to get above to that 950 area so I could jump in on its way up. Watch, watch, watch. Should I fast forward this? Okay, watch this. Here we go. I'm looking for that. You see, I'm pointing it out. I'm getting ready to jump in right above this area and watch what happens. It exploded so fast. Watch this. Boom. Look. Look where it filled me. I'm looking to jump in at the $9 area. $9.50. And so it... Let's pause this real quick. And it filled me up at $9.80. So I was like, oh my God. So then at that point, I didn't want to take another 8000 But at that point, I had no choice because... It gave me a super bad fill, and I had to somehow cost down my average. Um, so 
as soon as it went down here to that 950, I jumped in. So which means my my um my average was around 960. Now mind you, I was trying to get in that 950 area. So if between this point and this point, the middle point would be somewhere around there. So around 960 area. I, I'm, so now I'm just waiting for it to get above that 960 area so I can get the hell out, right? And as you guys can see, I got out at 965. But let me show you guys how that thing played out. I was in suspense for a little bit. so But I was like, you know what? Let me let this thing do what it's supposed to do. Um, right now, I'm in a good situation. I'm, I'm like a little bit losing right now, but... I'm still at a good situation. I could have sold when it was there, but it, it did it so quick. I didn't have a chance to hit the hotkey. So I'm just still waiting. Right now, I'm kind of break even. I'm waiting for it to pop a little bit more. So I can get out. Now, right now, right there, I'm kind of like a little bit red. But I know this thing is still strong. So I'm, I'm not too worried about it. I'm waiting for it to pop so I can hurry up and sell. And because this thing is so choppy, watch this. Boom, I got out. Okay, so I got out at uh, 965 area, so you can see um, um, it's above that middle area here. So kind of if you take this average and this average. Now, if it only had given me this fill and I got out somewhere around there, I would have made a lot more. But, man, this was horrible fill right there. I got a horrible fill. Sometimes that happens, and, it's, it, you know, it's not my fault. It's not anyone's fault. It just happens. So I got a very bad fill and, you know, a lot of people would have probably panicked and sold and took a huge loss. But, you know, when it, when you have some experience, you kind of like, OK, you know, you know, the stock is pretty strong. You know, typically want to, you know, it get, it, it's supposed to do what it's supposed to do. So sometimes you just kind of have to. I wouldn't recommend that for new traders, but obviously experienced traders know Um you know, you give the stock a little bit of time to do what it's supposed to do. And typically it does it. You know, sometimes it does. Now, if it hadn't went below this area here, I would have just took the massive loss and walked away. But I did pretty well here anyway. So I probably wouldn't have been in the in the red. I pr this 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 loss would have been smaller than this green. So I would have still kind of almost break even somehow. Um, but yeah, that's how the cookie crumbled today. And... You know, I ended up uh, green, 3,200. Um, yeah, man, it was a tough one. This one. <laughs> It was just so choppy, you know. It was just so choppy. Typically, it's not that choppy when it's about to break above here. It doesn't just explode like that fast. This this move happened so fast. And, like, it was, it was, it was almost too fast. But anyways, this was what happened this morning. Just wanted to show you guys how uh, it played out. Um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Also, you guys, you guys know it's Brutus Empire stocks and real estate, which means I'm always looking to buy properties. If you have any family members or any neighbor or anybody who's in type some type of a hardship and they need to sell fast, they need some quick money, they need cash, they need to sell their properties fast. I'm your guy. It doesn't matter what state, doesn't matter what county, doesn't matter wherever you are. Um, just contact me below. My email is right below. Send me an email and I will purchase those properties. Like I'm looking to load up on some houses. Um, if you guys have any properties of your own that you want to get rid of, um, just hit me up. It doesn't matter if it's in perfect condition or not. It doesn't matter if it has equity or not. Even if it doesn't have equity, I'll still buy it from you. Um, I, we're, we'll figure out a way for us both to actually um win you know when i do deals i try to make sure everyone wins all right so anyhow i'm gonna cut this one short if you guys have any questions comment below um don't forget to hit the like and if you think someone else will would get some value out of this uh video go ahead and share it with them all right so i'll talk to you guys soon